So you see, <laughs> if I earn money, people also criticize. If I give money, even my own people criticize, telling me why I give so little. I wish I could give more, truly like that. I am very shy and embarrassed that I can't give much more. But we all do what we can, right? Yes. So they should not criticize me for giving little or earning money or anything like that. We all have our own karma. To fulfill, we all have our duty to do. That's the way it is in this world. Eh? Mm. If I keep uh, relying on all disciples, I don't think I can do much. Because I will have to check out who is making how much money and all that. And if I keep relying on them, one day it will run out. Their money might run out, you see? So I also have to earn my money to spend on the kind of work that is for noble causes or for charity to help people when they really need. I can't help the whole world. I can't help all the disaster victims. I just do what I can. And I give as much as I can with God's grace. So I don't know why people want to criticize me for living a normal life, decent life. So that all my teachings and all the charity work or the Supreme Master television work can continue with my honest and clean money. I don't know what's wrong with that, but they still criticize. Well, better than killing me, but they still want to kill me. I do have enemies as well. Those I oppose, they are powerful. Drug lords. Animal people, meat industry, alcohol industry. They have cartels, they have people who kill also. And my life was threatened uh, more, than, <laughs> more than several times. But God still has mercy on me, so I'm still alive. And even in war, you know I'm against the war. I want peace for all to live and to contribute to a normal life and for people to live healthily without fear. Most people have a difficult life already. To earn money, to take care of their parents, relatives, friends, their own children and themselves. So war will make their life more hell. You know that already. I am against war, against animal people murdering. I'm against anything that harms humans and makes their life suffer. So of course I have enemies. If you're against somebody, they don't like you, they hate you. They even kill their own people. So uh, as long as I live, and if I know something, and if I'm allowed to tell you, I will. There are many things I know that I can't tell you. I'm not allowed to. Also, is you can't do much with it anyway. Have a knowledge. If you are meditating, being vegan, have a good master, then you annoy yourselves. No need for me to tell you. And if you don't have all that uh, supporting your spiritual growth, then even if I talk 10,000 years, you would not listen. Most people don't listen to me. <laughs> not only don't listen, but could harm me anytime by different actions, different means. I'm only one and I have to protect myself so that I can continue to stay with you, the initiates, and with my team, the Supreme Master Television team. Supreme Master Television, it wasn't my intention to have a name like that, but heaven ordered me to. I had to. Also, Supreme Master Ching Hai, it's not my intention to have this name, but I have to have it. I do everything according to heaven, according to my destiny and the mission I have to fulfill. If I just had a normal name or even just Master Ching Hai, I maybe would have more disciples, maybe would have a more peaceful life. When people don't hear the name Supreme Master, then they don't <laughs> feel allergic. But I just have to have all that, I just have to. It's just a destiny road that I have to walk on. 
It's a destiny mission that I have to continue to fulfill. I would prefer to have a peaceful and anonymous life deep and high in the Himalayas, for example, where the snow is all year round, even in summer. <laughs> and you are so quiet and at peace and alone there. You don't need a lot of money to live like that. The money I earn normally would sustain me all my life until I die whenever God calls me home. I don't have to work anymore. I don't need to, but I just have to. For others' sake, even for other beings' sake, like the animal people, the trees, the plants, for their sake, and for some other invisible beings, even from lower heavens. Many things a person who takes up a mission like mine would have to do. But we can't always tell you because uh, if you tell about something good or something bad, the karma will multiply anyway. For example, if you give somebody money and you keep telling about it, <laughs> then you owe money. <laughs> you owe more money than what you gave. That is a problem. But I have to do everything in the physical world openly, mostly openly, just to let my disciples see the example and do it themselves. Mostly I do it. And because we have a TV channel and I can't do it all myself, so it has to go through accountants, for example, or some special department who takes care of that for me, then they would know that. Then everyone would know that because also we have Supreme Master TV and they will put it on TV, for example. There's no end. There's not much I can avoid in the physical world. I prefer really to give anywhere to anyone by cash because like this I don't have to go through the system like with the accountant or with uh, the department concerned. But it's not always possible. Of course, it is possible because sometimes I can give by cash personally and nobody would know. I would not tell <laughs> anyone. But mostly I have to rely on my team, the concerned department, in order to wire money to wherever we need to help people. And that's why most of them are official and uh, open. And also in some official cases, if the receiver prefers not to be known by the public, then we will also not uh, announce it anywhere. And even sometimes I want to give to some big organization, but because of my name, I, <laughs> I can't do it. I have to ask someone else to do it for me. But still, I pay the money for that. And one time I even asked the bank uh, manager to use my money in his name in order to give it away to some good organization to help uh, refugees, for example. Yeah. But that one also was not for my department or my team to know. Only that person in the bank knew. Just at the moment, I keep as quiet as possible. Meditate for the world, listen to heaven's messages, because sometimes they would tell me something to keep me safe, yeah? How to keep safe at this moment, at that place, for example, like that. So I'm quite busy all day, all night, actually. And I live a simple life, eat simple food, nah? And I don't have to wear a lot of <laughs> uh, luxury-looking clothes or a rich and glorious jewelry that I designed. I really prefer this type of life. But I'm still contributing to the world, visibly and invisibly. I'm just telling you some of these things so that you know everyone will get blamed, even if they do good things. And the more you do good things, spiritually especially, the more you will be blamed and will be in risky situations in life. Many of you think that uh, I'm not doing much, huh? even when I give initiation, it's all quiet. Just some 
little instructions and the transmission. It's just sitting quietly, like I don't do anything. It's not like that. It's a power, the invisible energy that goes into you, lifts you up and helps you to be liberated. In this lifetime already, you all know that. Well, at least <laughs> the majority of you know. So before you knew much more, you think, oh, Master does nothing. That's what she does during initiation. So she even uh, lets her monks and nuns do it without her presence during initiation. So I can also do that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't bundle up the karma for yourself. You have enough karma already. And you don't have enough power to erase all the karma of the persons that you want to take as disciples. You think you just do physical things like I do, tell them how to sit and do this, do that, and then sit quietly together. And you do the same, and you think you're already a master. Oh, no, no, that's not it. It's not the check. It is the money you have in your bank that supports that check. Similarly, it's not the title of master that makes you a master. It's not the physical instruction that you copy from the master that makes you a master. No, no. There is a master power behind all that. The blessing power granted from God, the grace of God that flows through the master, that helps the disciples. Otherwise, you harm both yourself and the ones that you want to take in as disciples. It's a laughing stock. And if you are not in a high enough level, you can't receive this and you cannot use it. Just like a little baby, a little toddler who can't handle the house affairs. He can't even eat and digest all the food that the adult human eats. He will get sick or die. Just because your check looks the same, as my check doesn't mean that you can pay with it if you don't have any money in the bank. That's very simple like that, very easy to understand. Do not uh, wish to be a master or try to be a master or attract people so they follow you. No, all this is a waste of time and harmful to yourself. Because even if you really want to help them, whatever merit you have, a spiritual power that you just receive or was opened by the Master who helps you, graces you, they will take it all away. And it's even too little yet. So it's not enough for you to cover yourself and not enough extra for you to give it to any of your so-called followers. So don't try. Don't try. If I send a monk or nun to go far away to initiate people, I do transfer some power for them to do it during initiation. If you just break away and do it by yourself, thinking you're a master already, you're only harming yourself. You might even have to go to hell for that, because you're not a master and you say you are. In Buddhism, that's one of the greatest sins. It will not earn you anything. All right. I need to go do some inner conference now. I hope I will talk to you another day when I have something really important to tell you. But I always have to ask God's permission first for even that. So you understand why I don't talk much more to you. Just uh, try to meditate more as much as you can. Anytime, even when you sit in the bus or in the train, just don't miss your, don't miss your station, yeah? <laughs> and uh, try to spread veganism and the righteous way to live your life. That will help others to awaken somehow, and uh, it will help this world to become a better place or even become a paradise, we hope, <laughs> by God's grace. I wish all of you the best, as usual, in spiritual practice, further enlightenment, and that everything noble, good, and reasonable of your wish comes true. Amen. We thank God Almighty. We thank the ultimate Master, the Son of God. We thank all the saints and sages in all directions and of all times. Take care. Till later. 
Don't forget God. Don't forget to thank God every day. Huh? Not just during our time, but also in your private time, whenever you can, whenever you remember, think of God, thank God. Okay? Love God. And try to love all your neighbors, the humans, and the animal people, plants, and trees on this planet. Remember to thank God, all the masters of all times, for the food you eat, with humility, gratitude, and love. Thank you. So long. God bless. God love. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master.